in El Paso tonight, the gunman who killed 22 people at that Walmart. Tonight, we're learning how he ended up in that store after that 600-mile ride from the Dallas area. Here's ABC's Marcus Moore. Tonight, chilling new details emerging from the chaos of that Walmart massacre. Authorities saying 21-year-old suspect Patrick Crucius showing no remorse in the slayings of 22 innocent people. He appears to be in a state of shock and confusion. Police say you can see him here on surveillance obtained by KTSM with a rifle in his hand. During an interrogation, Crucius allegedly telling police he got lost after his 10-hour drive from Allen, Texas to El Paso. As soon as he got here, he uh, was lost in the neighborhood. After that, he found his way to the Walmart because we understand he was hungry. Police believe he ate, then cased the store and was satisfied there were enough Mexican shopping. He went to his car to arm himself and returned to carry out the rampage. Run, me not run. And the sheer force of the gunfire stunned even the most experienced trauma teams. At the Del Sol Medical Center, David spoke with a lead trauma surgeon about the injuries. He said it took him back to war. But this reminded you of what you saw in Iraq and Afghanistan? Very much so, yes. And what did you see? It was really uh, amazing the number of patients who had uh, injuries inside their abdomen. And the amount of soft tissue injury was even uh, very apparent uh, looking at people who had uh, injuries to their arms and legs, much more reminiscent of a war-type injury than something I typically see in the civilian sector. It took you right back. It did. Octavio Lizarde is recovering from a gunshot wound. Today he addressed the community after telling David he cannot unsee the moment his nephew was shot and killed in front of him. Lizarde and his nephew were at the bank inside the Walmart. They tried to get behind the clerk's counter, but the door was locked. You were trying to get your nephew and you in there. And when you couldn't, you yeah. turned and the gunman was there. So. Were you able to say anything to your nephew in that moment? No. I wish I could. I wish I could have done something. Tonight, emotions still raw. A growing memorial in this tight-knit community, finding comfort in each other. I just never thought it would happen to us. It's going to take time for all of us, you know, to pull through, to get through this. We are thinking about everyone in El Paso and in Dayton tonight, and Marcus joins us from the scene of that growing memorial. It's right near the Walmart. We're very familiar with it, Marcus. And at the initial hearing, we know the suspect was informed he's being charged with a capital murder, but federal prosecutors are expected to have their own charges. Yeah, David, those prosecutors are already treating this as an act of domestic terrorism and tonight are seriously considering charging Crucius with federal hate crime and other charges. David. All right, Marcus, our thanks to you as well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.